Welcome to Pride Month, everybody. Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare to be sick of us. I'm kidding. Don't be sick of us. I thought what better way to kick off Pride Month than doing a review of Ati Patel's movie Trapped. Ati and her team made a film called Trapped. It first aired on SABC right about this time last year. But most of you all know that your girl doesn't have a television box, so I couldn't watch it. However, the streaming service gods in codes with Ati and her team, obviously. So tell her, girl, you have nothing to fret about. Here's the film. It is now available on Prime Video. You can watch this now. I tell you, when Ati posted on Instagram that the film was now on Prime Video, I practically ran there. I was at work. I said, I'm going to watch this film right now, immediately, because I knew, I knew somehow the gods would do the right thing and it would get there at some point. That point is now. First of all, thank you so much, Ati, for telling such a beautiful story of what's well, not of our lives, but like that's representative of our beautiful tortured romantic lives as gay people <sighs> who doesn't love a beautiful tortured gay romance please i'll be on time for that well i wasn't on time for this one because it's like a whole year later but you know my excuse okay but this film is obviously more than about just tortured romance okay and the specific topic that it covers that i want to address today and for us to continue to talk about is the issue of it's just the slice the smidgen of what the whole movie is about but it's the issue of outing your partner and what the implications are but i'm getting ahead of myself let me give you the synopsis of the movie huh. Ayanda's double life comes crashing down around her when a surprise from her mom upsets the carefully built closet she hides in. Torn between traditional family and career expectations, Ayanda tears her relationship apart. Somewhere in the heart of it all, acceptance is found. In case that synopsis was a little bit too serious, and I'm going to try and explain it without spoiling it, obviously, because you still have to go watch the movie. Um, but the film focuses on... Utando, it's not me, okay. And Ayanda, they are queer couple. Tando is played by our lesbian favorite, U Tishi was at Kubu. And then Ayanda is played by South Africa's beloved um, Zola Nambona. Uh, they are coupling, they are just living life, you know, they're a beautiful couple. Uh, but U Ayanda is somewhat closeted. And U Utando is not obviously she's out here, she's ready to pop a question. But Uainda is struggling with being out and proud and loud about who she is, particularly to the people she considers most important in her life. So there's a part of the movie where Utando gets frustrated with Ayanda, she calls her a friend. Um there's a uh, there's a suggestion or a mention of that she can't even hold hands with her at the mall. Just basically dragging Tando into the closet with her. And Tando sends this surreptitious message to Ayanda's mom. Um, a message that she knows is going to force Ayanda to have the conversation of what the nature of Tando and Ayanda's relationship is. Um, and then obviously things go haywire. And that's why I'm doing this video because I want to address how harmful it can be for somebody to force someone out of the closet <clears throat> so we interrupt this programming to discuss a mistake a boo-boo that i've made i was talking about the movie to somebody who's watched it and we were not in agreement about something the disagreement lies in that the person i was talking to says it doesn't constitute as outing because it happened by mistake and i'm saying it constitutes as outing because the decision whether to out herself or to come out by, at her own accord or Ayanda was taken away from her by Utando when she was screaming and her mom overheard her. So, yeah, that's the confusion. I think that in and of itself warrants the conversation even further. So I don't know if Ati intended on that confusion to be there so it sparks conversation or not but yeah i just wanted to make that clear so from the data that i've collected i.e ask people on instagram um if they've ever been outed or if they're ever inadvertently you know by mistake or purposefully outed somebody for the most part the people that shared their stories it's always negative when somebody outs you or when you out someone 
I'll read some of the responses later so that you can corroborate what I'm saying is not just out of my elbow, okay? But coming out for the most part is very much centered around safety. It very much requires a person to ask themselves if I am vulnerable and I share this part of myself with this person or with this group of people, is it in safe hands? And if I have assessed the situation and I find myself pushed into a corner and I have to come out, it's best that people obviously make contingency plans for an exit plan to safety if the situation of them coming out is not well received. We live in a country where gender-based violence is rife. So absolutely, if you're a woman, you are a walking target, let alone a homosexual one. So you really want to be careful about putting people's lives in danger by just like making them even more vulnerable than necessary, especially if you haven't thought things through and you're just blurting something out or it was a drunken moment and you didn't think about what the repercussions are going to be because that there's a reason why that person is sitting comfortably or uncomfortably in their closet. As I've mentioned in a recent video that I was once with somebody who was closeted and that was at a time I was also closeted but I, I, I was inching closer and closer to accepting um, my sexuality and when I found her, I was like, oh, actually, I don't have to. I don't have to get out of this closet. I, so I receded back until that relationship fell apart. And I um, fell in love with someone who insisted on loving me loudly and proudly. Um, and so I had to abandon all hopes of ever living my whole life in the closet till death. It was absolutely amazing to be loved uh, loudly. Um and not be hidden and not do things in corners and only behind closed doors. Um, even though I'm not going to lie, I was absolutely flagellating the whole time. Just like swimming deep in shame. Uh, but the other side of it was so glorious that it was worth me um, tussling at that point of my life between being loved and being honest and trying to be bold about it and also being ashamed when i get home and i'm by myself and i am about to go to church but i was okay with that transition being uh gradual instead of just being yanked out of the closet it was on my own terms i've also spoken about how coming out particularly for people who are feminine presenting is is just never ending Every time you meet a new person, a new group of people, a community, it's something that you might have to consider disclosing because it's not obvious to people. But even in a case like that, um, one group of people might might know about it and another group might not know, but it's still your discretion um, whether or not you want to come out to those people. It's still a part of your story, no one else's to tell. And you shouldn't have to give a reason why you're taking your time. Some people really like are still struggling with questions they're not ready to answer, questions that they haven't even confronted themselves about. And now if you are going to go out and tell people about their sexuality that they're still grappling with, what do you want them to say? Like, do you have the answers? I remember a person that I was close to having issue with being labeled a lesbian or even just calling herself a lesbian, even though... She was mask presenting, she was um, only dating women, uh, had only had like one boyfriend as a child um, and was sure about her attraction towards women, but she felt like she hadn't explored the full spectrum of who she is and for herself to box herself in lesbianism um, was a disservice to herself, even though she wasn't ready to explore other things about who she was, um, she didn't want to be labeled a lesbian. But because people look at her and they see a lesbian who lives a lesbian lifestyle, they just put that label on her. Now you go and you out a person like that, what's your plan? That person is now stuck with a label that they didn't want for themselves, but because society has decided, oh, if you dress like that, if you carry yourself like that, if you love those kind of people, 
um, who are that gender, then that equates to that. And I'm going to just call you that or I'm going to tell people that that's what, who you are. And then years later, they decide, oh, I actually am non-binary or I'm gender non-conforming and I actually like boys. Now everyone's confused. But I thought you were a lesbian. And it's like, I never said that. You, if you decided that. You outed me as a lesbian. And now we're sitting with confusion and all of us are looking like idiots. Don't out people, <laughs> just don't do it. Lastly, coming out can be dangerous and also life altering, particularly for like young people who are not independent of their parents yet. I've heard of lots of people who were disowned, who were beaten, who were Bible bashed, who were taken to conversion camps. Um, just traumatizing things can happen to people when they come out. I think it's best if we allow people to be the ones that decide when to tell people about their sexuality. Okay, we agree on one page. Good. Having said all of that, in this specific movie, the couple we're talking about is uh, a couple of adults. They are upper middle class. Um, they are doing well for themselves. Ayanda is a lawyer who's about to become partner at our firm. Otando is, I believe she's like got a magazine or she just launched a magazine. Um, they're just a, a beautiful couple of people who are doing well for themselves. And therefore, the issue of coming out for them is not an issue of safety. It's more an issue of self-acceptance. And that's where I find myself sympathizing with Tando, which is tricky because... Tando is the person who forces Ayanda out of the closet by sending a message to her mom, and which then forces her to have a conversation that she's not ready to have with her mom. But at the same time, I'm like, if you're in an adult relationship, you're an adult, you are an adult professional, um, and you decide to get in a relationship with somebody who is out loud and proud, and who has been out loud and proud, please consider leaving that person alone or make it clear when you get in that relationship that you are working on accepting who you are so that you don't force people back into a closet that they've worked so hard to come out of because that could be damaging to them as well in as much as it is damaging for them to force you out of the closet. Because here's the thing, I've spoken about how small our dating pool is in the community and therefore um, you might find yourself in a situation where you fall in love with somebody who is still grappling with accepting who they are. Um, and honestly, I think I probably, <sighs> would I? Okay, no, for, for me, uh, a person who's closeted is a hard no. I'm, I'm 33, there's no way, I, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. But for some people, dating a closeted person could be a soft no, where if you communicate clearly with that person, Nuguti, okay, cool, I see that you are making strides, you are trying, maybe you're going to therapy, maybe you are starting to have conversations with certain people in your family, maybe you are out in certain spaces and not others, and there's some kind of indication that at some point soon, <laughs> you will be comfortable to tell everyone in your life um, who you are, um, but really it starts obviously internally, like the movie alludes to. Um, so yeah, I just think it needs to be communicated clearly in relationships. How long do you plan on being closeted so that I can prepare myself um, that I'm going to be not holding your hand in public, I'm not going to be posting you on social media, I'm not going to be seen with you in public, we're going to be calling each other friends in front of our elders and we're going to be meeting each other's families, but we're going to be, like, you know what I mean? Like it needs to be something that's communicated between the two of you. But in this situation, it seems as though um, Utando has an expectation that Ayanda 
is grown enough because she's she's okay with her friends and like her peers but like her elders and her seniors at work oh it's a bit testy and she's not comfortable with with having those conversations with them and that's obviously incredibly frustrating i can absolutely understand tando's frustration because also manja you're in deep right you're in love okay in as much as you can choose yourself and decide okay this person doesn't want to be uh, open and brave to love me the way that i would like to be loved and that is uh, without being shoved into closets and only love behind closed doors and but also be public about it um but that would suck it would really suck for that to be the reason why you you can't you can no longer be with someone so my final thoughts are i definitely think if you're closeted rather find somebody who is also closeted so you guys can do the closet thing together until one of you decides they no longer want to do that life or maybe it'll work maybe you'll be closeted forever i don't recommend it but for some people i suppose it works um but don't go falling into relationships with people who are clearly who know themselves and who who want to be loved a specific way and that is loudly and proudly very much june pride monthly and then drag them into the closet with you that's not fair and also you who's out loud and proud don't go uh, getting into relationships with people who are not sure of themselves who don't want to come out who are scared to come out who who are, or who are just not there yet because of reasons that we mentioned earlier in this video we can't we shouldn't force people to tell the world about something that they are not ready yet to tell the world about because it's really damaging for everybody involved trauma scars flagellation just mental health not in a good place what does Brene Brown say? She says, if you don't do the internal work and the vulnerability work that you need to do, then you're going to figure your stuff out on people. And that is not nice. That is not good. That is damaging to people's lives. However, that doesn't mean people have the right to now drag you out of the closet and force you to admit to things that you're not ready to. I'll get into the answers of what people said on the Insta Greasy when I asked them if they've ever been outed or if they've ever outed somebody. Actually, let me first start with my story. I've been outed before. It was hell in there. Um, funny enough, I, I've told the story before to close friends, but I was, it was my first relationship ever and we had broken up and we were just friends then, but I think we were just really close so we were incredibly like affectionate with each other i used to work at my uncle's tech shop and i was working there and she was visiting um and some girls that i didn't get along with came to the shop to come buy something i sold stuff to them and then just like it was camilla at the time camilla and i were just like you know hanging out and just being like i don't know just familiar with each other and they, I suppose, found it disgusting. So they went and told on me and they were like, yeah, we were kissing at the shop. It's so unprofessional and it's disgusting. And they told my mom that. Obviously, I got in so much trouble. It was very traumatic. We weren't even kissing. Um, I'm a very professional person. I've been professional since I was working at my uncle's tuck shop. Okay. Um, but I think we were just very affectionate with each other and comfortable around each other. And they just assumed that we must have been dating and like added spice to the story when they went and told my mom uh who was with my aunt at the time and my grandmother found out and she disowned me um it was like the first years of me coming to Joburg actually and every time i'd go back home i wouldn't go to see her because why am i getting emotional <sighs> May her soul rest in peace. We're good now. Okay, let me put myself together. What? Oh, is that an open wound? What is happening? Oh my God. Oh, this might be the first time I cried on my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, it's not that sad. It's just, it's clearly like a touchy subject. Is it a touchy subject or am I just missing my grandmother? <laughs> I had no idea this would happen. I need a drink. No. Deal with your emotions. Respect your tears. What the heck is this about? Do I need to go back to therapy? 
Come the fuck, we're back. Where even was I? Um, I can't remember where I was with the story, but so the story is my grandmother disowned me and then I moved to Joburg and then whenever I'd go back home, I wouldn't go see her. Um, and I think probably the third time I went back home, um, because my grandmother practically raised me, right? So it was a big deal that she was like, don't want to see your gay ass face in my house ever again. Um, also, I denied everything. I denied. I was like, what? M me? Have you ever seen anyone who looks like me that's gay? Are you, are you okay in the head? Um, denied everything. But I guess like everyone was like, how old do you think you are? we are? Um, we know your ass is gay. Anyway, so the third time I, I went down to Maritzburg, now living in Joburg, um, I think she she heard, so she sent word to my mother's house to be like, hey, um, so I hear you're back and you don't even come to say hi. Black parents and not being able to apologize or have proper conversations. And I'm like, do you not remember when you disowned me and you told me never to set foot in your house ever again? Anyway, my aunts were like, just go and apologize. And I'm like, for what? I'm not gay. So if I if I apologize, then that would be admitting to my gayness, which I am not. I'm not gay. Fast forward now. I am telling gay stories on the internet for all to see. Anyway, so clearly there's a wound that's a gape there um, that I need to address that I need, didn't even know was a thing. Um, and maybe that's why I was so touched that I wanted to do this video because I remember how hurtful it is for for someone. Well, they were telling lies about me, but like there was, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, but yeah, it's it's awful. So I cannot imagine how how awful it must be for someone you trust. And you told them this thing about you and then they go and they blurt it out to people. Anyway, let me get into other people's experiences uh, that they shared. Also, thank you so much for trusting me with these uh, heartbreaking things that happened to you guys. Um, truly, it's, it's awful. Okay, someone said, a lady from church outed me to my mom. Mom and I didn't speak for a year after that. <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. That's, that's hard. A year. Did you live in the same house for a year while you weren't speaking? Did you go back to church? What happened there? Next person says, I was outed to my extended family and found out years later. No one talks about it and I don't hide it. So it's chilled. For a long time, um, that was the case with me. I think I came out to my sisters and I was out to the public. Um, and this is long after the incident with um, with my grandmother and stuff. No one spoke about it. No one said anything. No one addressed it. And I'm guessing that was everyone's way of dealing. It's like, we don't have to talk about it. We know. Um, but we, we love you and you're here and nothing's weird. The next one, my white male director at a work event in front of strict Muslims. I left and went to the toilet. Yikes. Why would he do that? Why would he do that in the workplace? Because, like, religious people are very intense. And I can just imagine the, the awkwardness in the room. And now you're the one who has to leave and go to the bathroom and deal with all of the brunt of now this person running their mouth i guys know i think people is not right um next one oh so it's two part i didn't out someone but when i was younger i said my brother would be gay and my parents were not happy and called the family meeting for me talking about umlomo uyadala so <laughs> So you predicted your brother would be gay. Um, is he gay now or not so much? Um, yeah. And so 
Ooh, I'm really interested to know if your brother's gay now. And why would you say that? <laughs> why would you say that to your parents, Ethan? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, the next one. I've been outed by my sibling and I denied until I cried because I wasn't ready for what would come next to admitting my story. I also cried. Yo, it was traumatic. My friends were there, were around. Like, it was just drama. I definitely, like, my instinct was to deny everything. And I thought I was believable because I'm obviously femme. So I was like, have you ever seen a gay person that looks like this? Whatever that means. Children. Um, the next person says, I was outed at school by my gay friend. The best mistake. Because I didn't want to admit it. Oh, okay. So, so that's another uh, uh, side to this is that some people really won't be ready ever until they are pushed to a corner until they are pushed by circumstances much like in this movie where ayanda probably would never have come out because her mom like was very like chill once they spoke about it how many times also have you heard of stories where you freaked out for years and years and then we told told your parents they were like oh we've been new you know and they were chill about it and now you've put yourself through so much agony for what for what the next one is yes i was outed by my cousin and she was the only one who knew because of a status i once posted you block a block a block a block mute what's the other one hide i don't know you if you're not ready for people to know then you better be careful of how you're posting who you're posting where you're posting um, use that close friends feature on Instagram. I don't know. On WhatsApp, block people, especially family members. Because if you're not ready to come out, you They will definitely. Like, it's, it's going to be... You see something, it's like, hey, bro, did you see? What is this? Yeah, I'm sorry. Your cousin was foul for that. Um, last one. Yes, I was out. Next one. Yes, I was outed by my friend, Guma Mawam. Then I denied it. Then a year later, come out. Isn't that the story of our lives? Also, that's my story. Um, wait, there was another. There was another one that was really delicious that I want to read to you guys. The last one is pretty heavy. Okay, this person says, I've been outed before at a workplace. Three years into that job, I had a fallout with a friend, close colleague. Yo who decided to tell everyone about my so-called deep dark secrets. It really broke me and violated my safety in a way that I had to leave. It was deep in KZN, a company full of patriarchal Zulu men who felt the need to abuse me verbally for my sexuality and shared their thoughts on how I needed to be straightened up. The last straw was after the second attempted uh, SA. Um, I left and never looked back. I really love my job, so this really broke me. Yo, you see, this is there's so many layers into this. A person is losing um their bread. You've put a person under harm's way. She was almost essayed twice, and she's the one who had to leave and find new work because she was now being abused by horrific men in the workplace it's just just don't do it that's a good way to wrap it up um yeah i think we can all agree outing people is terrible and it puts people in harm's way so let's not do that in the future on the other side of the sword um particularly in terms of dating i think it's very very vital that conversations be had between two the two people that are dating about their comfortability with their sexuality and where they are um, in the journey of being free and embracing who they are, um, let alone presenting themselves unto the world as the person that they are in their full form, in their full selves, whatever that may be. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say in this video. If you have more stories about being outed or just like thoughts on this topic please let me know i enjoy reading everybody's um 
thoughts and stuff on the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video happy pride month enjoy it bye